So first up, we got this. She's been rebuilt for this year. My wife calls her the girlfriend. Last year, she broke under mysterious circumstances, much like the leg lamp from Christmas Story. Wife didn't like it, somehow broke. Now over here, we got a small part of the graveyard scene here. This guy just rose from the dead and decided to eat the guts out of this dude. Guts I made myself out of some spray foam. And then the bride over here, she just came out of the ground. She's got herself an arm. Tasty. Beware of zombies. But the kids around here, they don't pay attention to that. They think it's cool. So this is my AT&T worker. Uh, his shirt actually says AT&T. You see he lost his foot. He's still crawling away. The first up, I named her Irma because of the recent hurricane. And then here's my fog machine. His head will turn side to side and spray out fog. Over here, this guy here, I call him Gene Simmons because he kind of looks like Gene Simmons. And then this one I made, uh, missing a hand. I call her Dar because we have a friend named Darlene and uh, her hair's like that. She's got some Cruella DeVille hair. Now this guy, I just redid the, the arrow in his head. I call him Daryl because, well, The Walking Dead. He's tied to a tree and all dead and gross. Now this was my old fog machine and he was just a shirt with hands and head. I stuck a fake arm in there. You can see it's been ripped off the sleeve. I call him Dog the Body Hunter. My wife wanted one that went over the wall of our patio here, so I called him Harvey. Again, after the recent hurricane, he's just crawling over, seeing what's what. Now, this is like one of my first gen zombies. My very first ground breaker I ever had. Um, probably going to get retired next year, but uh, for now, he's still there. Or she, whatever. A fluke of consumerism, I got Harold and his twin brother Gerald here. I uh, accidentally bought the same stupid zombie at uh, two different stores and uh, just decided to keep him. This guy, he crawls around. I got him from Spirit uh, last year. He actually still works remarkably, unlike most of their stuff. And finally, rounding out the list here is the water boy. I call him that because you have to fill him with water to get him to stay down. Simple. It's still pretty dark, but I put a red spotlight on here just to kind of emphasize the gore. Like I said his guts are all hanging out and he's dead. Please do not feed the zombies. So just finishing off, I've got uh, a little chain fence here with some lights. Hands are the anchors. 